so after uh, living up here like that, uh, you went to California, and that's where you were born. Yes, uh, my mother was a picture bride, and uh, and uh, came into San Francisco. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about how the picture bride uh, arrangement works? Well, the picture bride arrangements are worked by uh, uh, supporters of each side and they would uh, then send pictures over and exchange pictures and if that was then suitable then they would be married uh, although they weren't together and uh, that would then allow uh, the bride to come over. We've heard some uh, horror stories uh, about on that arrangement but uh, in the, your family's case everything worked out all right? I think uh, I think there were there were some little shenanigans pulled because you see my uncle who was not married at the time uh, brought my mother back with him. He was visiting in Japan and brought her back. Well, what's well, the significance well, of that? Well, you see, the way I figured it out is my father had went back to across the Canadian, U.S. Canadian border, so he couldn't use, they couldn't use his, his name. name. Because there is some mix up. My sister looked into it and she had some questions and it just struck a, struck a light <laughs> in my mind here what my father was telling me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Then uh, possibly your mother came over as your uncle's bride. Yeah. I think well, so. that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Thanks for sharing that bit of private. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's <laughs> information. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But uh, apparently your father was determined to come to America yes. if he did yes. this wet pack. Uh, I, I found out right. about that later uh, uh, during my teenage years. Uh, uh, mentioned to me one day, he says, uh, uh, I want to ask you a question. I said, sure, what is it? He says, I have some property in Japan, and if I die, it's supposed to go to you. I said, he says, do you want the property? He says, I don't have any use for it because I'm not planning to go back to Japan. And uh, Previous to that, as a nine-year-old, I had visited Japan for a few months, and I met my cousin over there. And and another cousin was over here. You know, he had uh, migrated to the U.S., the older cousin. And uh, so I told my father, I have no use for it, so why don't we give it to my cousin? So he, he went. we went to the council and... I had arranged. Made the arrangement, and so all of the property there was uh, in Japan. Was, uh, my cousin fell heir to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's when he first let me know that he had no intention of going back to Japan. I mean, well, he was burning the bridges right there. Yeah, he was burning the bridges, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was in the middle 30s during the Depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, a lot of the Issei's, I think, uh, at about that time were wondering which way to go. To yes. Go back to Japan or um, stay here. And right. your father apparently made up his mind early that he wanted to stay here. Well, I think, uh, I think wanting to and staying here are two different things, you see. I mean, uh, you know, because of, of the situation, uh, uh, political situation, yeah. not legalistic, but still political and it could have rounded up everybody and Shaked kicked him out, out you know mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, so my father always mentioned that uh, he says you're an American citizen and I'm not but if anything happens between US and Japan I'm staying here and uh, and I want you to remember you're an American citizen you know mm -hmm. he said that to me many times mm -hmm.